Hi everyone, I'm Irene Kwong and I'm a fourth year PhD student in the MIT Electrical Engineering and Computer Science Department working with Professor Jacob White. My research focus is building a low cost, low field handheld magnetic resonance imager. While MRI is a very powerful clinical diagnostic tool, it relies on expensive superconducting magnets and a host of additional infrastructure to operate. Through careful engineering design and computationally efficient optimization of permanent magnet topologies and RF pulse sequences, I hope to build what is the world's smallest and cheapest MRI system. Magnetic resonance imaging or MRI is a powerful and non-invasive imaging modality used to look at internal organs and tissues of the body without harmful ionizing radiation like in CTE or X-ray. Unfortunately though, MRI, as its name suggests, requires the use of a strong magnetic field. And these magnets used to generate fields for clinical scanners need to be placed in specialized shielded magnet rooms and continuously cooled in liquid helium. This infrastructure can cost upwards of a million dollars. And while these machines can produce high resolution images of the human anatomy, there are many applications in which image quality is far less critical than portability and low cost. In recent years, the cost and availability of smaller bar magnets and radio frequency electronics has made it increasingly possible to build miniaturized MR scanners. And this is not without its own challenges though. The commercial off-the-shelf magnets that are suitable for portable systems produce magnetic fields that are much less uniform than clinical superconducting magnets, making them uh, unable to perform imaging using the same traditional encoding techniques. So what I work on is using simulation tools to design these magnets and the different fields that they can produce to also achieve imaging in these miniaturized MRI systems. So while the types of systems that I'm building will never replace the gold standard clinical MRI machines for applications that require very high resolution images such as functional brain imaging, um, one thing I'm excited about is the numerous clinical applications in which it may be advantageous to use low field handheld scanners. For example, hydrocephalus, which is a condition found in infants where there's an abnormal accumulation of CSF within the brain, um, it does not require high resolution imaging to diagnose and treat. So hydrocephalus is especially prevalent also in regions of the world that don't necessarily have the resources to afford expensive clinical MRI systems. So down the line, um, I'm excited to answer the question of what the limits of in resolution for these handheld imaging magnets are and whether they could be deployed around the world for point of care health screenings. So aside from the potential clinical benefits of this technology, I'm also eager to see it used as an educational tool for engineering students learning about medical imaging and signal processing. Some of my colleagues who work at the MGH Martino's Imaging Center and here at MIT have built various permanent magnet systems and one of which is actually used as a test tube scanner used in a in teaching courses in the electrical engineering and computer science department, as well as HST here at MIT. Um, however, COVID-19 has drastically changed the way teaching of these hands-on lab courses will be done for the foreseeable future. Um, and because the magnets that I'm working on are safe to handle and easy to construct, I've still been able to work on it safely from my own home. And I'm excited to be working with instructors for these courses to be able to potentially distribute a kit of parts for students to have their own do-it-yourself MRI while learning remotely.